Number 9. Nuclear Deterrent for Submarines Even though the Cold War ended in the early 90s, the competition between the US and Russia for military superiority is still going strong. Consequently, both nations have designed and built some of the world's most formidable machines and weapons. But the Russian Navy has some catching up to do when it comes to its Soviet-era submarine fleet. It's currently working to replace the outdated fleet with a collection of nuclear-powered submarines, which will be part of its nuclear deterrent force. Plans for some of the vessels, known as Bore-class submarines, were in the works before the Soviet Union fell. Design work started in the mid-1980s, and construction on the first vehicle began in 1996. The nuclear deterrent force also consists of four newly developed Khabarovsk-class submarines. Each Khabarov sub will carry six nuclear-powered drone torpedoes that are capable of hitting coastal targets an ocean away. Yikes! These bombs are capable of inflicting 10 times the damage as the bombs the US dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which effectively ended World War II. Double yikes! Three Russian submarines, each carrying 200 nuclear weapons, were recently seen surfacing through Arctic ice several meters thick. This was taken as a display of the country's abilities to navigate accurately beneath the ice and to respond quickly to a nuclear attack. It was also a demonstration of Russia's ability to hide from NATO's anti-submarine forces if tensions reach a boiling point and erupt into war. This is just one of several scary ways the country could launch a nuclear attack or counterattack. Much like the US, Russia is capable of firing ballistic missiles from land, air, and sea, giving both nations plenty of options when it comes to the decision to cause massive, needless destruction. Number 8. Spy Rock Robot Late last year, Russia's defense ministry announced that it had developed a robotic surveillance device that looks like a rock. A video uploaded to social media showed the machine, which was roughly the size of a small pet, traversing the grass on wheels with a mini camera mounted on it. The spy rock can be operated from up to 1.2 miles away and has a battery life of 15 hours. It's motion activated and starts recording audio and video when something triggers its sensor. The information it gathers is then transferred to army headquarters. Perhaps the Russians got the idea from an incident that happened back in 2006 when state television called Britain out for hiding a surveillance device inside a plastic rock and then leaving it on a Moscow street. The discovery led to the closure of numerous non-governmental organizations which Putin accused foreign intelligence agencies of using as a conduit for interfering with Russia's internal affairs. Regardless of where the idea for the cleverly camouflaged spy rock came from, it could come in handy for exploring enemy territory unnoticed. Number 7. Nuclear Weapons The US and Russia are the world's two biggest nuclear powers, meaning they hold the greatest amount of the deadliest weapons ever built. During the Cold War arms race, these two nations amassed some 64,000 nuclear warheads. Since then, that number has reduced dramatically thanks to the Non-Proliferation Treaty, which is an agreement among numerous nations to keep the worldwide nuclear weapons count at 10,000 or less. But both Russia and the US, along with a few other countries, have enough of these weapons stockpiled to completely wipe out an enemy state. The good news is that nuclear warfare is unlikely. In fact, nuclear bombs have only been used twice in war, when the US bombed the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. Truthfully, nobody would benefit from putting one of these catastrophic weapons to use. If Russia bombed the US, America would certainly retaliate to a similar or greater effect. It's also possible that any other countries involved in the conflict, including allies on either side, would follow suit and resort to using their nuclear weapons. It would cause chaos across the globe. The world's nuclear powers include the United Kingdom, China, and France, and all three of those nations would be likely to take sides in a war between Russia and the US. 
There would undoubtedly be mass civilian casualties and widespread destruction. Dropping a nuke would be costly in terms of both human lives and economics. It would also strain international relations and come with other unwanted and far-reaching consequences, especially for whichever country acted first. Cleanup and rebuilding efforts would also be extremely expensive. This concept, known as mutually assured destruction, is largely what has kept either of these superpowers from waging nuclear warfare against the other. While it doesn't guarantee that either country will refrain from using its nukes, it makes the possibility far less likely. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Military Spy Satellites Modern warfare looks very different than it did in the past. With how far technology has come, countries who could afford it are able to launch spy satellites into space, making it easier than ever to keep an eye on their enemies. Two years ago, news headlines reported that a pair of strange Russian spacecrafts were tailing an American-made military spy satellite hundreds of miles above the Earth's surface. To many, this symbolized a growing threat when it comes to the competition between Russia and the US for superiority in the space-based espionage department. The abilities that come along with such advanced devices would have seemed shockingly futuristic to the world's militaries even just a century ago, when wars were fought, well, the old-fashioned way, up close and personal. Speaking with Time magazine, U.S. Space Force Commander General John J. Raymond explained that the Russian spacecraft had entered into orbit just a few months earlier. It then began maneuvering toward the American satellite, coming within an uncomfortably close distance of less than 100 miles at times. Raymond described the movement as unusual and disturbing, with the potential to create a dangerous situation in space. The U.S. government reportedly expressed concern to Moscow over this, but even if diplomats over in Russia were open to discussing the matter at one point in time, it's probably safe to say that they're unwilling to negotiate right now, given their leader's blatant refusal to scale back on his invasion of Ukraine. Plain and simple, Putin knows that the world is watching and he frankly doesn't care. Number 5. Autonomous Strike Drone In 2019, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced the successful flight of its first unmanned aerial combat vehicle. The Suhoi S-70 Ohotnik B, nicknamed the Hunter, the autonomous drone is designed to deliver precision-guided bombs at long ranges without a pilot. It somewhat resembles the US-made B-2 stealth bomber. The Hunter was first spotted three years ago during ground trials at the Chkalov aviation plant outside Novosibirsk. Vladimir Putin visited the facility in late 2019 and announced that the aircraft's development was moving along according to schedule. Without the need for a cockpit and equipment to perform life-sustaining functions for a human pilot, the Ohotnik has more room for weapons. The technology it uses has been around for a while. It is nothing new to the US and several other militaries of the Western world, but the drone marks a milestone in the advancement of Russian military technology and the country's ability to attack heavily defended targets. The second Ahotnik prototype was rolled out late last year. Preparations for its debut flight are currently underway, according to state news agency TASS. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that the work on the Ahotnik will hopefully be finished by the end of the year. Deliveries of the drone to the country's troops are slated to begin in 2024. Number 4. Hypersonic Missiles Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds of at least Mach 5 or 5 times the speed of sound. It's no secret that the US is actively experimenting with hypersonic technology, and Russia claims to be doing the same. In 2013, the US military completed its first successful test flight of the Boeing X-51A Wave Rider, an experimental hypersonic aircraft that has reached speeds of almost 4,000 miles per hour. The X-51A isn't weaponized. It was meant as a stepping stone to future hypersonic development. Russia, on the other hand, claims to be further along in the process of creating these high-speed missiles. Late last year, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu 
announced the successful trials of the 3M22 Zircon hypersonic missile, which flies at a similar speed as the Wave Rider. It runs on an advanced type of fuel, giving it a 621 mile range. The Zircon flies so fast that it can evade traditional radar systems, which means that it could potentially strike its target with little to no warning. Popular mechanics reported that if a US ship detected a Zircon missile from 100 miles, it would only have a minute to respond. It would be incredibly difficult to intercept the weapon, which is especially concerning since it would only take a few Zircon missiles to sink the most advanced American aircraft carrier. This means that the US not only needs to catch up with Russia when it comes to hypersonic weapons, it also needs to develop a better way to combat them. Number 3. Unmanned Submarine Hunters In recent years, several countries have made it a priority to develop quieter submarines that can travel close to shore undetected. To keep up with this advancing technology, DARPA launched the Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel or ACTUVE program. The vision is to create an autonomous aquatic drone that's capable of traversing thousands of miles of open sea for months at a time without a single crew member aboard. Nicknamed the Sea Monster, its purpose is to hunt submarines while navigating through narrow channels and shipping traffic using sonar, radar, and other systems that can get the job done without a crew aboard. Open water testing of the new technology began in 2016. DARPA announced the successful completion of the program two years later. The prototype vehicle was then handed over to the Office of Naval Research for further development. DARPA program manager Alexander Whalen praised the transition between agencies as a significant milestone toward the development of unmanned submarine hunters. This type of marine vessel would undoubtedly come in handy to the US military given Russia's recent ambitions to replace its outdated naval submarine fleet with newer and better vehicles that are capable of carrying unimaginably destructive quantities of nuclear weapons. But if Russia happens to have a similar project to the sea monster up its sleeve, it could put the US at a great disadvantage when it comes to submarine warfare. Number 2. Night Vision Technology In 2019, the Russian military's most sophisticated night vision goggles went on display at an exhibition of the country's Syria Operation artifacts in the state of Duma. Known under the type name GOONV-1, the helmet-mounted goggles reportedly outshine US night vision technology with their operational capabilities. They were created for the crews of attack and military transport helicopters. They're equipped with sophisticated electro-optical converters that only the US and Russia have developed. The updated goggles were designed after a helicopter crashed in Syria in 2016, killing both pilots. They were operating with a previous version of the eyewear that was produced during the 1990s. After the accident, helicopter crews were no longer allowed to use the goggles and were issued new ones. Having the correct night vision technology can help pilots fire with accuracy, navigate complex terrain, and perform complicated takeoffs and landings. In addition to being a safety measure, high-tech safety goggles can be the key to gaining an upper hand during nighttime combat. Knowing that Russia is at least as advanced as the US when it comes to this, it could be a cause for concern regarding which military would prove superior in the dark. Number 1. Sukhoi Su-57 since 2002, Russia has been working to develop a stealth jet fighter called the Suhoi Su-57. The single-seat aircraft was designed as part of the Russian Air Force's PAK-FA fighter program, which aims to achieve air superiority and the ability to effectively carry out attack operations. There are numerous sophisticated features to the Su-57, including super maneuverability, super cruise, and advanced avionics that supersede the previous generation of fighter aircraft. It's the most advanced Russian fighter jet in existence and one of only four operational fifth-generation stealth fighter jets in the world. Late last year, Russia's state-sponsored news agency TASS reported that the Su-57 outperformed its American equivalents, the F-22 and F-35. Military expert Alexei Leonkov told the media outlet that the Su-57 outranks its US counterparts in weapon systems, robotics, radar, and electronic warfare equipment. 
Meanwhile, Western media has repeatedly claimed that American-made fifth-generation fighter jets are superior to the Su-57. Moscow reportedly plans to start producing an upgraded version of the jet in 2025. The newer model will be equipped with a two-seat modification, allowing a second pilot to control nearby combat drones. It's capable of flying at speeds of up to Mach 2, and at just $25 to $30 million each, it comes at a much cheaper price tag than its American equivalents. When it comes to which country's fighter jets are better, it's one military's word against the other. It's difficult to say with any certainty which aircraft reigns supreme. But one thing is clear, either way, Russia has caught up to the US with its fighter jet technology and is showing no signs of slowing down or stopping the development of faster, stealthier, and all-around better planes. And these ultra-modern fighters are going to be available to other countries, which means that if the US and Russia went to war, any of Russia's allies that have their own Su-57s could provide extremely powerful support. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.